Hi Viva. First of all, thank you again for the amazing feedback which you keep giving for the self-introduction video which we did on our channel. Now, so many people ask that uh, there are, are there any important the points which got missed in that video? Of course, nothing can be covered you know, at one stretch and there are so many important points which we could not cover in that how to give self-introduction especially for freshers. Now in this video, we uh, let's try to enlighten ourselves what are the other points, very, very simple points, but which can prove very crucial when it comes to the result of the interview and we'll try to highlight that points. The first one, the body language one. Handshake should always be firm. It should not be weak. Yes, if the interviewer is offering you a handshake, obviously you should go forward and offer the handshake, but it should be a firm handshake that everybody keeps saying because the reason is if your handshake is weak or if it is doubtful, if you are showing some kind of shyness, it's a sign of nervousness and it shows that you are not so confident enough or it also shows that you are not used to it. You are not used to meet people. So that's a bad way to indicate. So always make sure that the handshake should be firm, a very assertive or a firm body language gesture. Now, avoid repetitive words. A survey says that most of the people suffer from this problem of uh, you know, uh, using repetitive words which also includes saying sir, sir. So it's very bad to repeat even sir also many times. Okay, just if it is required. And some of them are having this habit of using like you know, yeah basically uh, like whatever repetitive words you try to control it especially in the interview rooms. Don't try to use repetitive words. Following by statements, examples. Why wrong mock to statements is when you give statements in interviews saying that describing your qualities like I'm very sincere, I'm very hardworking, uh, I'm an honest person or I would like to work under pressure. These are statements but the interviewer is meeting you for the first time. How can he believe the statements? So it's always good to support that with examples, little, little, small examples, not so great because everybody will have very common things in your life. Suppose if I'm saying that I like to work under pressure, I should justify with an example. So that's what, remember, statements are not, will not work, examples will work, examples looks believable and you can convince them and it looks real. Pauses. This is again a huge problem which many people will suffer. When somebody is asking something, especially in inter interviews, and when you are giving the answer, there will be like some pause and that looks very odd. Or some, you know, uh, the words like, <clears throat> the sounds like, uh, mm. so how to avoid that pauses? Even that three, four second silence, how to avoid by having correct fillers? Fillers means just saying that, give me a second. Or you can say, oh, that's a tough one with a sm small smile, you know, with a little smile, you can say, well, wow, that's a tough one. He will understand that you need little bit time or you can say, oh, this I really need to think means you're not taking too much time. But even that small gap you are filling with fillers, not with pauses. So avoid pauses. The last one is very important in interview during the conversation is going on. Don't stretch too much, you know, taking too much time for one answer might deviate the whole process of interview and he might lose interest. So it's your responsibility to avoid too much stressing, instead give space, give space whether he is ready with the next question. So that you need to observe and you need to take the call. So these are the five points which I wanted to mention which can add up to our self-introduction video and again I am posting that link beside, behind this video, under this video so that you can follow better and this is a continuous process. This behavioral skills, communication skills is a continuous process and we'll try to you know take as many as points. So thanks for the support and thank you for the amazing feedback for the aptitude sessions also. We'll be doing more such sessions in the future. Thank you so much.